video is sponsored by The Process Life. Go over and check out our new arrivals. Since you are part of our wonderful Process Life family, use discount code NEWARRIVALS20 to get 20% off all journals, journal sets, or gift sets store-wide. All right, let me, let me read oh, those stuff right right before there. I read it out loud, because y'all be tripping sometimes. All right, I believe okay. y'all confirm. My... I said I gotta read it okay, first. Okay, go ahead, babe. Go I, read have, it. I have to prove it first. Or prove it, go ahead. All right. I believe God confirmed my spouse to me, but he's with an unbeliever right now in a relationship. What should I do? Absolutely nothing. nothing. We did a video on this and what it was is called? called My Husband Brought His Girlfriend yes. to My Birthday Party. You better believe it got dog on our show and did. I brought her to her birthday. If it is God. And I say if very strongly because when God places someone in your heart, uh -huh. right? God doesn't tempt us. Yes, he doesn't. And not now he may prepare like he prepared me. But you wasn't with nobody. I wasn't with anybody. Yeah, you by yourself. And he wasn't with anyone. No, when sorry. God placed Rito in my spirit, he wasn't with anyone. Uh -uh. At all. Nope. God didn't tell me. So I, it's hard for me to answer this because God didn't tell me that Vito was my husband. While I was dating someone for a year and a half. He didn't even tell me he was my husband when I started feeling some attraction for him three months prior to him. Absolutely. I thought it was the devil. Nothing crossed my mind that this was my husband. <laughs> Until after God showed him, he approached me. Nah. And then God confirmed it to his daughter. Yes. Child, this is not the devil. This is the man I have for you. This is your husband. That's how he dealt with me. He did not dangle Vito in my face right. while he was dating. And I was dating somebody girlfriend. for a year and a half. And way that's, before and I that's what the birthday party was about. It was my birthday. Was it my birthday? It was your it birthday. Was my birthday. And I brought my girlfriend. He brought his girlfriend. He came. To the birthday party. My, my husband. Girlfriend. But we weren't married. When he was seeing each other, we, I'm saying husband because he's my husband now. Right. Which means God knew he was going to be my husband even when he came with his girlfriend at my birthday party. How many, what year was that? I don't know, babe. <laughs> that was 2005. I like to put the years together. 2005, six. Yeah, something And like we that. got together 2008. So let's say yeah. three years. Yeah. Uh, dang, three months, three. I told him like three. Yeah. So like three years prior to Vito coming, God sent a Vito, he was at my birthday party yeah, with fun. his girlfriend. Yeah. But I had no attraction for him. Right. So I can't say, you know, I was really liking Vito and he had his girlfriend and stuff. Mm -hmm. No. At all. Not at all. I don't think I was seeing nobody. That was just me and the Lord. I was well, married you, to him. Seeing somebody. I don't think you was seeing nobody. You told me you wasn't seeing nobody. You were seeing somebody? And my birthday party, no, because I would have had a date. <laughs> I would have had a date. So, CIA, I hope that answers. Go back and, and listen to that video. It does apply. Even though he's with an unbeliever, it doesn't matter. Even if he was with an unbeliever, okay. what, what could you do? Even if he was with a believer, mm -hmm. what can you do? Oops. 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 <laughs> How my husband hey. came to my birthday party mm. with his girlfriend. Yes, I did. Why would God show you someone mm -hmm. that's involved with someone else? Mm -hmm. Oh, why was God? Why would God show you or tell you your your spouse and that person's married? Mm. That's a very that's good. Yep. I'm just trying. I'm trying to figure out. Because he's got how. all the confusion now. Now, when he was married, God didn't tell me he was my husband. Sure did. <laughs> God didn't no. tell him he had another wife somewhere while he was married. Right. It does, that doesn't line up. It doesn't line up. I'm right. just saying. Now, if you believe God told you. But what if the two are not of the faith, 
but God has spoken to him in many times has spoken many, many times. to him in many, many times in dreams that I am his wife. He is Muslim and I am Hebrew. One thing we know is this God cannot be put in a box. God don't care what religion you are connected to or where you grew up from or whatever your background is. When God chooses you for marriage, he knows exactly who he has chosen for that. He don't care where you are. He will bring the two that he has purposed to be married for his glory. He will bring them together in his own time. It doesn't matter. Faith, you believing in God, faith or whatever the case may be. I know people who um, say for instance, they don't proclaim and profess that they save and they love the Lord, but they can give you the account of how both of them met and how they became together, how they came together as husband and wife. And they've still been married for 50 and 60 years. Now, I want to so, add something too, baby. Yeah. And I may be going back to another question. A man did come to me and say, God said I was his wife. If you are a child of God, and I am, mm -hmm. you don't think your father's going to tell you to? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, we put so much power in other people and what they say. Your father not trying to hide his blessings from you at all. So I told him, I said, if it is, God will tell me too. If it's not, man, the best God will. And I guess my one, but God didn't tell me that and he ended up marrying somebody else. So we got to be very careful when people be telling you, especially women, God said you my wife. If God didn't tell you, that's not confirmation. Again, I think God does everything in order. Before God told me Marshall was my wife, he didn't even I didn't even know she was my wife. And the process of me knowing that she was my wife, I had to go through some other processes first before that took place. But he had already prepared her heart. So honestly, God does everything in order. If you look at, okay, I always say Adam and Eve is the blueprint of how God connects two people together for the sole purpose of them becoming together as one, one in the flesh, holy matrimony. Well, before Eve, there was Adam. Adam had a relationship with God. Adam was, didn't even know that he was alone. Matter of fact, God said it's not good for man to be alone. Let us make him a help me. Now, before God said that, God had already made the animals and created them in the pair, in pairs of twos. All right. So, but when God saw that Adam was alone and there was not someone for him, a suitable mate for him too, God said it's not good for man to be alone. Adam didn't go to God and say, hey, uh, you don't gave all these animals. You don't gave them a mate for each other, but you didn't give me a mate at all. Adam didn't even know he was alone. He was so in tune with his relationship with God that he didn't even know that he was alone. But God was the one that chose that. So if you can understand that process and that blueprint and study that, that would help you. And it will protect you from making the mistakes in the flesh. It will protect you from receiving anything what somebody say. Because everything that God does, he does it in order. He does not do things out of order. He does it in order the way he desires to do it. What's up, babe? You been want you to keep on bed. Okay, go ahead, take over. <laughs> Divine's going to bed, so she has to make sure she get our prayers and kisses. So she say, when daddy finished, can you tell daddy to come? That's her routine, so we got to keep it going. So I don't know what he said, but I'm sure he was right. <laughs> I'm a little biased because that's my man. <laughs>